Good day, good day. How the hunk are ya? This is your friend Dan O over here at Roverland. Yeah, the channel that's anything and everything about Land Rovers. And today we got a one off Wednesday. Unfortunately, <laughs> what we're going to be looking at today is the Eagle Collectibles by Universal Hobbies. Yes, premier die-cast metal model, and it is an exact 118th scale. Very nice model, heavy, heavy model. Um, just a really nice, really, really de highly detailed model. Really cool. Here we'll take a look at the uh, UPC code, at Land Rover Series 3, 109 hardtop. There you go. And uh, take a look at the back here, the back side. You need to take a look and uh, pause that if you want to read that. There you go. Now, this is distributed by Universal Hobbies, and they're based out of Hong Kong. Uh, now, my research, I found that they were a privately held company started in 1996 uh, out of France, I believe, FR, uh, and it's Pardon my French. It's uh, I believe Quinging Knee, Quitting Knee, Q U E T I G N Y, Quit Quitting Knee. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't speak French. I'm sorry. Well, anyway, uh, they also have a base there over in St. Charles, Illinois. It, they they have a U.S. base there. But this uh, Universal Hobbies is known for. Um, uh, very highly detailed models, uh, die cast. Uh, I believe this uh, whole model is made out of die cast. The, the frame might be uh, uh, plastic. I'm not really sure. I wish I could take this bugger out of the package for you, but this is the only one I've got so far, so we really can't get an in-depth look. These are calling for premium prices. When this was, I, I bought this one on the shelf in a hobby store in lacrosse and um i tried to get the hobby guy to get more in and uh so i could buy them and he was not too interested in my money and so i never really got any more of them so uh when they were coming out and i couldn't tell you the year that these came out in uh here in the states but you can see it has a opening back door and uh very nice detail rubber rubber wheels the uh, the doors open this is uh, this particular model happens to be a left hooker but as far as I know um, Universal Hobbies is highly detailed 1 16th 1 32nd and 1 34th and 1 50th scale and a lot of what they do is uh, farm construction uh equipment and and some cars so they uh they're alive and kicking yet today you can go over to their website uh universal hobbies and uh check it out i when i went uh, they were having problems uh loading up so i couldn't really see but they have a a brand new uh for 2019 of course this is 2020 but they had a brand new for 2019 catalog there that you could take a look at but uh, just a very nice model. You can see the rivets uh, on the door on, on the uh, rear panel of that 109 bed, and uh, just a very look at. There's even rivets behind the door post there on the uh, van cover. Very nice details. Very nice details. The uh, the heater vent there is is just a decal. It would be nice to have that but they painted the doorknob but uh just very very nice i don't know if you can really see it but uh they do have some dials uh in the the on the dash cluster there but uh yeah just i wish i wish i could <laughs> i just wish i could take this bugger out and show you guys this uh but you guys probably already have it. If you joined up and uh, subscribed to Roverland, you probably have one of these. Uh, if you don't, 
uh, go buy one there before they get too outrageously expensive. But uh, yeah, they they are a very nice model. Uh, like I say, I wish I, I could have gotten more. Um, I believe they did a uh, five door and uh, yeah, just really nice. I don't think they ever did a 90, but I, I'm, I could be mistaken. I could be mistaken. But uh, this is what I've got and I hope you guys have one too or something else. Go over to Facebook if you could and uh, go to Roverland on Facebook and uh, post your Eagle Collections by the Universal Hobbies. And uh, yeah, I'd really like to see how many variations there are out there. When you're, when you're looking around uh, and trying to find stuff on these kind of things, it's really kind of hard. Uh, there's not a cataloged um, database to go look at. So, uh, well, this one here says that's copyrighted 1999. So that's probably about that 2000, 1999 is uh, maybe when I when I pick this up. That that could be a possibility. But there you go. I, I really love this. Like I say, I, I wish I had more. You, I, I believe you can uh, get them on eBay, but like, like I say, they are calling for a premium price because they are a premium die-cast metal model. That's right. All right, so there you go. I mentioned it before. I'm going to mention it again. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up if you like what you see here on Roverland. Uh, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And hit that bell to get notified every time I upload a different video. And then uh, share if you can. Yeah, then you can go over to Facebook and you pick me up there, Roverland on Facebook. Make sure you join that group there as well as on Instagram, Roverland channel. And you can post pictures on Facebook and on Instagram. And I'd love to see what you guys have as far as the premium diecast models from the Eagle collections from Universal Hobbies. All right, well, that's about all I have today. So we're going to call it a video. Thank you very much for joining me once again on a one up Wednesday. Happy hump day. And remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.